Any word? Nothing yet. I'm worried that Tim is going to get himself hurt. He's a willful boy. Oh, but willful means brave, too. And that's good. He ran off once. Just last year. He took his BB gun and walked out the back door. Claimed he was going to live off the land. <laughs> he came home around supper time. Decided that he'd been a frontiersman long enough. Thought jet pilot was better. And I didn't worry once for him that day. Because I knew he had sense. I'm sure you gave it to him. All I can think about is what I could have done different. Hey, there is no way you could have known this would happen. Where is he? How long have you been seeing him? He's done nothing wrong. How do you know? He's done nothing wrong. That's not an answer to my question. Well, here's the answer to your question. Our totalitarian government's not content to simply wiretap law-abiding citizens, so you're rounding up the innocence of the red state to their tax dollars at work. What's a little racial profiling as long as the hunters get their guns and the oilmen get their tax breaks? Oh, please, tell me more about my part in the racial profiling. When I see a Muslim man, I see a man, not some bug-eyed terrorist. What do you see? Oh, because I'm blinded by racial intolerance. That's right. I tell you what. How long have you been seeing Zafar Khalid? Where is he? Well, you help me clear him. You'll see him soon. And what gives you the right to detain him? You living with the guy? He's at my place most of the time. But he's not there now because you've kidnapped him. Well, there'll probably be some developmental delays. We won't know until she gets older. Why do you suppose this happened? There has to be a reason, right? I'm, I'm trying to be a bigger person and accept this and say that God has a plan or something. And we'll just take it one step at a time. And there's got to be a reason, right? You're new. Mm-hmm. When'd you start? Tonight. Where are you from? You're awful nosy. Sorry. Just curious. You're the bouncer? Yeah. I want the door. Not very big for a bouncer. No, I guess I'm not. Huh. My name is Hazel Fortune. Everybody calls me Fortune. I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. I had a little bird once. She had white feathers with eyes like black pearls. I don't remember what I named her now. Mother brought it home for me in a silver cage for my 10th birthday. I was so happy. It used to sit on its perch and watch me during lessons. She was so curious. She understood me when I spoke and when I played the piano, she beat her wings against the cage. Except for the Moonlight Sonata. When I played it, she sat perfectly still. I often wondered if birds could imagine things. And if they could, I wondered what it was she saw when I played. I blacked out. It took 22 stitches to close the gash in his head. He has a concussion. They broke his ribs and his fingers. And my father-in-law. We're very sorry for your loss. If you remember anything else, 
Please give us a call, okay? Thank you. Can you believe the insurance company is kicking him out? Yeah. They said if I can get myself to the bathroom, then I don't need a hospital. Um, come on, Aiden. Let's go outside. We'll meet Daddy out front. We barricade the doors, flip over the tables to hide behind, and then we shoot every one of those fuckers that walks in here. You know we can't kill them all. Maybe not, but I'm not gonna go easy. None of us are. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Trino, go get the rest of the needles for Ford. Bring the rifle. Take Nova, too. You got a problem with this? I did it. I left Jeremy. Oh, my God. You did it. Well, uh, come in. Uh, let's talk. Huh? I don't know about any of this. What do you mean you don't know? You did it. That's the hardest part. Then why doesn't it feel good? I mean, why doesn't it feel right? Hey, it, it's not easy to rip off a Band-Aid. It hurts. It's more than that. I, I think about Jeremy without me. He'll be helpless. He's helpless with you, Elena. I don't know, but this will be worse. The truth is, is it? I think about me without him. I think about our baby without a dad. I think I'm making a mistake. <laughs>